right now, since I'm kind of between tasks, I just wanted to follow up on my theory I have had for a long time, just to see if it's true or not. Yeah, we have 85. So, 35 to go. I remember when I was counting up to 40. We've doubled that already. We're back in the desert. There's bound to be more things to do. Ooh. That's something to do. That's... Aha. Dude, that is a task we could follow up on. Is that there is a uh, seal surfing thing over here. Which I never did. And that is, I believe, a shrine quest. It just wasn't marked as one, I guess? So if I get down to there, we can go do go uh, seal surfing, and that should give me another shrine. I also want to follow up on the ice shop, because we never figured out what was going on there. I don't know if it's a Korok seed, or if it's a uh, shrine quest, or what, but there was some sort of weird ice shop, and I never figured out what to do with that. I should revisit that. Oh, right. You're like the only case ever of like one of these things not being uh, destructible. You're not the most helpful thing in that situation. Dang it. Go away. All right, let's get you out of the way. Wow, I don't... I did this a long time ago. So we'll start off by getting you guys out of the way. It's a little more frustrating than you might want it to be. Only I had bomb bowling. <laughs> did it move a little bit at least? Didn't even move at all, did it? Well, that's kind of making a move. Come on. Where's my press A to pick it up now? <laughs> this is the one time I'm looking for the prompt and it's not there. <laughs> I'm, trying not, I'm trying not to use my weapons. I suppose I could... More than anything, I'm just trying to get bombs inside there, on the other side of it. How did I do this last time? Oh, Jesus! Mixed up my buttons for a second there. I had some kind of system like- Ooh. Ooh. That might almost work. Well, now it's just gonna go off, so watch out. Oop. Oh, I've just about got it, actually. I don't need to get the whole rock out of the way, I just need that... ...that one out of the way, basically. There we go. If I can just crouch through here, we're clear. And everything's back. Yeah. Edge of Duality, Golden Bow, Gerudo Spear, everything. Moonlight Scimitar. I don't have a- I've never photographed a Radiant Shield. I've had them in like the entire playthrough. Go figure. There we go. Aren't I holding one of those right now? Yep. <laughs> I've had a Radiant Shield in my inventory, I think, every moment since I first came here for the first time. Let's see. So Golden Bow does 14 damage. It's a long-range bow, basically. Soldier's Bow. Doesn't that suck? I feel like a Soldier's Bow is not worth it compared to the range of a Golden Bow, probably. Moonlight Scimitar just does bonus damage or something? Let's see, Battle Axe Plus. I could get rid of my staves because they're going to break eventually. 
think I'm overboard on spears. And those ones are at least elemental and higher damage, so... Let's just compare real quick. That's a 25 damage, and it's a it's a quick sword, right? It makes it pretty effective, although it's weaker than even the unpowered master sword, so not a high demand thing. I kind of want this. Then just another one. It's the main reason I came here, after all. There we go. Now I got two edge of dualities, because why not? And I've uh, now I know I can come. I can. I've confirmed for a fact that I can come back here whenever I want to for another one. And I'll be smarter about that next time, and remember that I just need to make a crawl space and not move the giant rock out of the way, which I feel like I probably... That's probably what I did last time, too, and I just forgot. Ah, well. Now to go back to the Master Sword for durability reasons. Alright, so way down there, there was a sand sea... There it is. Let's get down to the race course, because now that we've defeated this big bad, the storm's cleared, and this whole area can be explored now in a way that it couldn't before. I am returned! And I'll have, to, I'll have to do a scan of the map for any stray stars I'm forgetting about. Speaking of which, let's get rid of this one. Do I see any, by the way? Ah! Uh, still need to figure you out. We've got you, Warbler's Nest. Okay, so I've still got two shrine quests to follow up on then. This, this one being one of them. I need to go win at this race. Yeah, I may not have any quests in my log, but that's only because some of these don't add themselves. So you're re ready to initiate them. Finally, Tally. Alright, this situation with like... With like the Super Swagger Gerudo and like... Crony-like... <laughs> okay. You again. Don't bother Tally when she's getting pumped up for the Sand Seal race. Now that the Divine Beast is gone, we can finally use the race course. Actually... Did you want to try to beat Tally's record? I'll warn you, they don't call her Dame of the Dunes for nothing. Uh, Sand Seal Race? Aww. Never heard of Sands of Hyrule's pastime? The world famous Sand Seal Racing? I thought everyone knew about it. Shocking. Isn't it shocking, Tally? Tally, who never speaks. You surf for the Sand Seal and race to the finish line while also going through the arches. That's Sand Seal Racing. And if you get off your shield or leave the course bounds. You're disqualified. Tally's record is a minute and a half. If you can beat that record, your trophy's yours. This is the grand trophy. It's been passed down by 10,000 years of Sand Seal racing champions. Tally here is the current champion. Will you try challenging her record? Of course. Forgot to mention, since you're racing against the champs, uh, champ's record, it'll be 50 rupees per race. Okay. I can try that, uh, 62 times? <laughs> Alright, payday. Enough talk, let's begin. If I beat this on my first try, it's gonna look really silly for their 10,000 year championship trophy. Oh god, that sound. A challenger has appeared to take on the Gerudo Sand Seal race. Apparently one who does not mind risking life and limb. But will our current record fall? The one set by our undefeated champion. The incomparable beast of the desert. The sand seal is ready to ride. Can our new contestant reach the goal in less than an hour, a minute and a half? While still passing under each, every arch? How funny would it be if it turned out that I was an hour and a half and I'm like massively misinterpreting the time. I have to go through every archway, never leave the course, and do it in a minute and a half. The suspense is killing me. I'm going to start the countdown. Okay, so I assume that's the first archway. And they stay in dash mode indefinitely, I guess. Nope, never mind. That, that, now it's over. <laughs> Okay, it's two down. We're one third of the way through our time. Is this a good time? It's fairly tame as far as courses go so far. I need to be careful not to hit Link against anything, right? Oh, there it goes, hitting something kind of. 
Okay, we're not really going back towards them at all, which is concerning. Oh. Oh. That's frustrating. So there was a rock hidden behind the dune, so the sand steel crashed into it and I didn't see at all. I knew the rocks fell down, but I didn't see that one. Welp. Time to start over after a brief loading time. Need some training wheels on that sand seal? Wouldn't that make them significantly less effective at sand, sand surfing? Wait. I'll try again. Wait. You need some training wheels on that thing that does not use wheels? I'm also surfing on a, uh... <laughs> I'm surfing on a weird guardian shield? Is that better or worse, I wonder? I didn't feel a ton of risk of losing Link, necessarily, although I think if I take a rapid turn that he'll probably smack into something. But more than anything, I think it's just that if the Sand Seal hits something, I'm in trouble. So I need to watch out for those rocks that came rolling out. Sneaky, sneaky rocks. Controlling Link is actually a little concerning because, uh, I don't think I can do much about where he's positioned. Like, if I'm moving the seal, I just have to hope the Link, Link doesn't get himself in trouble. Alright, so this, the rocks were on that side. Oh, don't come in front of me. There we go. Uh-oh. Oh, there's the next one. Part of my concern is I'm like, I don't know where each... I don't know where each, which, each archway is. Is that the end? Okay, I was wondering how I was going to do it, because I'm like, there's no way I have time to go back. I thought it was going to be a loop. That was easy. New record! It's a new record! Yeah, it's a new record. Come to think of it, yes, those the 10,000 year old record sounds pretty silly right about now. Although nobody's, uh, presumably no one's been sand surfing for a hundred years? Have those people been waiting a hundred years for this course to reopen by just standing by it? That's concerning. Perfect. I believe this belongs to you. This trophy is something special, you know. Our champions have passed down a legend about it for 10,000 years. The legend goes, When the Holy Jewel is offered onto the pedestal, the Chosen One will be granted a new power. But that power has never been granted to anyone, not even to me, obviously. And yet, I sense a power emanating from you, the likes of which I have never felt in anyone else. You should give it a shot. <laughs> and so, a new champion is born. I like how they're all like, oh my god, this they might even be the champion. Wow. Could it be? And for me I'm like and for me I'm like number eighty six. <laughs> like it's the gravity is so huge for them, and so not for me, because it's number 86 now. <laughs> um... That was weird. <laughs> I thought for a second there that it wasn't gonna, that it wasn't gonna be the Chosen One, I'm like, what? Nah, nah, nah. The undefeated champ. That's what I am. <coughs> no! It's another reward shrine. No! We're running out of shrines in general, and so many of them are rewards. And it's just a radiant shield. <laughs> I just got I just got to a room where I can just pick up a radiant shield and a and a uh, edge of duality and then I get to a place that has a radiant shield and an edge of duality in it. Go figure. 
I mean, I can drop this one for one with higher durability. There we go. Alright, give me that orb. I require more hearts, apparently. <laughs> I wonder how high you can get your hearts in this game. So you ha you can get... I would assume you can get two rows of, of hearts for the sake of symmetry. As far as your red hearts go. If you just really max it out or something. But then how many freaking yellows ones can you stack? Like, does it eventually cap you off on reds plus yellows? Or can you always add however many yellows you can cook? Regardless. Interesting to know. Alright, another task down. Let's... Pick a new thing to go after, then. I beat your record. It only took two tries. <laughs> Would have taken one try, but there's one pesky little surprise. Boom, I don't even need a seal. Okay, the seal helps a little bit. Yeah. Oh, this is promising. You heard the rumor. Oh, and they've got windows behind them. Ooh, I bet I can re- this is it. This is the eavesdrop situation, I think. There's, there's windows behind them, which is always- that's how we've done this so far. Yeah. Yeah. Huh? Have you heard about- the rumor about fashion passion? Mm. I have. Oh. I tried asking Saola about it ind uh, indirectly, but she wouldn't tell me anything. Mm? Doesn't Saola work in fashion passion? Jeez, that's, that's extremely suspicious. Is that it? Um... Saula. Who's Saula? I need to try on this side? Is that all I got? No! Oh, you're the foreign Vi. Sasaba. Night after night, the voices of the people in the can canteen are come right into my window. They're super loud. If you stand under the window, you can hear everything they're saying. When I grow up, I'm going to speak in a quiet voice, even if I'm having a really great time. Huh. Saba, saba. Mm. Earlier when I went to investigate the temple, I saw a shrine that wasn't previously there. A new shrine? That can only mean one thing. <laughs> there, this must be a trial given to me by the seven heroines. When I beat it, I'll be the star of the Archeolo Archaeological Society. Oh, I'm so excited. Alright, eavesdropping has not worked out as much as I thought it would. Unless I'm supposed to follow up on that name. Maybe if I talk to them up front? Hey. Aren't those uh, clothes that... Aren't those clothes sold at Fashion Passion? I was thinking about buying some myself. How do they feel, Comfy? Hey. Say, are you, uh... I don't really know how to say it. Might you be a boy? Uh -huh. You are! I knew it! It's really impressive you getting in here without anyone else noticing. Don't need to worry, I won't tell a soul. Just a little secret between us, Hylia and Vi, right? <laughs> Sava -sava. Mm. Thanks to that divine beast, I've been unable to get home for so long that I'd forgotten my actual address. Hmm? Hey, this isn't a joke. So none of these people have the right name, right? Nope. <laughs> oh, I was going to tell you, I finally got my hands on the password for you. you Nowhere. Know mm. Seriously? Wow, that place is a little crazy, isn't it? Uh... Maybe, but I'm really interested. <laughs> anyway, the password uh. is... Wait a second. Huh? You, did you really think we wouldn't see you standing there listening to our conversation? Rude. This is a private conversation. Go away. Oh, so maybe now I can listen to it. Maybe I needed to prompt it first. Mm. What was with that little Hylian Vyrlier, anyway? Oh. Forget her. Just hurry up and tell us the password, Yido. <laughs> oh, that's right. The password is GSC Diamond. I overheard Saula uh, talking about it, so I'm sure that's right. <sighs> so they also overheard someone. <laughs> they have terrible security for this password, then. GSE Diamond? What could that- Oh, I get it. Gerudo Secret Club. But what's with the diamond at the end mean? Mm. Who knows? GSE Diamond. And boop. Huh, people just sleep outside around here? Gotta be freezing out, right? 
I mean, my temperature says it's not, but I mean, this is the desert. I, there's a few fires around, but I don't know if that'd be enough. Let's give it a go. And just in case I somehow misinput something, we'll save real quick. Because otherwise, I think I have to wait an entire day to try again. G. Oh. S. C. They were almost all in the second slot just oh. to throw me off, huh? All right, you can come in. What's in here? Oh. Hey, I haven't seen your face around here before. Hmm. <laughs> Looks like we've got ourselves a rare visitor. I guess I have a suspicious mind, so maybe you don't have too many questions. So maybe you don't ask too many questions, and I won't either. You're a member here now, so thanks for your patronage. Is that a skeleton costume? Also, what's that? Desert Vaux Spalder. And headband. That's an entire heat resistance set, isn't it? Yes. Wow, it's expensive. <laughs> wow, it's expensive. Oh. Oh ho. That's a special one, made using luminous stone. If you're interested, you'll need to trade me the materials. Oh, there's a handling fee too. What are the materials? Three luminous stone. Three luminous stone. Three luminous stone, that's like negligent amount, a negligible luminous stone. They're 800 per piece. I'm gonna buy it because it's, it's crazy and weird. Special mask for members of the Gerudo Secret Club, painted in dye made from crushed luminous stones. Gives off a lurid, mysterious glow in the dark. <laughs> I, I bet you need a lot more luminous stones to uh, upgrade it. Oh. Shirt sold at the Gerudo Secret Club. Oh. Dark so, it's a precious item, so be sure to take good care of it. Now I've got I've got glow in the de uh, glow in the dark equipment. That it does not look like that when it's not in your, when it's not on your character, huh? All right, whole new armor set then. I also want the other one, but dang, how I have six hundred rupees. Can I even afford one piece? I can. Well, I already have a uh, heat resistant headband. Probably go for the pants. The chest piece, the one that costs a lot. Yeah. Arnis is the power of ice to make hot climates more tolerable. Let's get- let's grab the pants, but I may want to sell stuff just so I can afford better- more gear. Gerudo made trousers for men, sold rarely by Gerudo retailers. Sapphire is used in their creation, which harnesses the power of ice to make the heat more tolerable. <laughs> can I sell to you? Elsewhere it might be Savota or Savak, but here it's sa always Sav Saba. Buy for me. Oh. So, I'd love to pick up something rare if you got anything like that, they say. So what can I sell off? We have, I have over a hundred spicy peppers. Holy crap. All right. I'm not gonna wanna sell off any of my gear because all of that stuff is one of a kind and I just have to buy it again. And I'm a little hesitant to sell off some of my uh, gems like I have in the past because they are used, I think, for crafting. So basically, I might just sell off anything that I have way too much of. Can I jump by intervals? Just bumpers? Nope. I want to see if I could jump by like 50 or something. <laughs> we have a lot of bad wings. Everything on this page kind of feels off limits. Moblin Fang. Clearly, I'm not using those lately. And Amber. Basically, if I have a ton of it, it's probably not being used, especially since I've been trying to upgrade lately, and my attempts at upgrading have not. have all been capped out, so if any of these are required for upgrading, uh, they probably would have been used by now. I'll sell like a half of each stack if I have way too much of something. But the rarer stuff I'm a little more hesitant to sell off now. You can sell off your acorns, huh? <laughs> you just want to look like some kind of lunatic selling acorns everywhere.
Well, this is panning out nicely for my income. Let's sell off half of my peppers and apples, I think. Got way too many of them. Frankly, I don't even want to do- I don't even want to think about how long it would take to cook all of them when there's that many of them. Oops. There we go. Maybe some thistles. There we go. I can afford the whole set, and I'm also not out of money, thankfully. Oh. There's the headband. Oh. And there's the chess piece. All right. So I've cleared out their entire stock of items. There we go. And now I can uh, go ahead and have two more things to think about upgrading whenever I go to the, the Great Fairy. That'll keep me busy. Curious about the, uh, the glow in the dark set, if it has any... Th that's gotta have some sort of special characteristics, right? Maybe it's just a fun cosmetic set, but I'm wondering if maybe the whole thing upgraded as a set gets a really cool bonus or something. So that's that mystery is solved. Let's see. Sorry, just shoved that person. Did I consider buying more gems from this person? I haven't bought the rest of them yet. Part of me is definitely tempted just to buy every piece of the set just because it would mean having everything. Doesn't want to have everything. That's a guardian one. The heat resistance one. Shocking one. A lot of opals. Do I not have the amber earrings yet? Yeah, my only jewelry is the diamond circlet and the sapphire circlet. Alright, I'll buy the amber one. <laughs> Everything in this game's weirdly rhythmic. All the way down to the, uh... All the way down to, like, what sounds they make for, like, upgrading your, your house and to cooking and then to crafting, mm -hmm. uh... Jewelry. There's the opal. <laughs> Even the sweeping. Mm -hmm. Topaz. Getting expensive. Almost got the whole set. You're the only one, right? The rubies. Yeah, I'll mm -hmm. buy it. I've turned all of my food items into jewelry. That's basically what this episode can be summarized as. There we go. <laughs> May you have the protection of the gems. There we go. I don't know if I'll upgrade them necessarily. Or the other things might take priority, but I just wanted to get the, the full set. This is going to be a very crowded inventory now, huh? <laughs> my, my helms alone are almost the entire first page because of this. And then you also have these, uh, the gimmick pieces for this other set. Then you have the chest pieces and the legs. It's exactly two pages right now. Alright. Hopefully you have enough space in your inventory for every item in the game. I would hope so. That it expands infinitely or at least has enough for the, for one of, one of a kind of each. It'd be a bummer to be limited on how many I'm, I'm allowed to have. Alright, now that I'm outside, let's see what this, these sets look like. So sorting by set. This is the Gerudo Warrior set, for males. Oh, it's just a guy. Saw me running around, huh? See, I hear Gerudo women like a guy in sand boots, so I've been jogging all over for forever to show off. But none of them will talk to me. I'm starting to wonder if that rumor was just a bunch of bunk. Sand boots? <laughs> sand boots let you walk normally on the sand, so if you live in the desert, believe me, you want a pair. But the only person capable of making them passed away, which means they're impossibly rare and extremely valuable. What do you think? Jealous, right? Give me those boots. Oh. Huh? You're coveting these things after you heard me sing their praises? Not cool. Look, these sand boots are super rare. Maybe I'd consider giving them to you if you were a girl, but a guy? No. I'm busy here. Get lost. That's my Gerudo set. That's an entire set of heat resistance. Which is, uh, 
overkill at that point, I guess, because there's only you can only get two stacks of heat resistance to, the, in, to begin with, so three of them at once is actually... It actually serves no purpose besides cosmetics. I can also sub this one out if I want to. If they... In fact, this one has better defense. There's no reason to wear this one that only has three compared to this one that has eight, but that's because this one's upgraded twice. I'm just collecting at this point. 